Alright, we're back. We are back in area one because I missed this level. Door, 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 and more. Doors. I want to eat and reach the goal. After this, we'll head back to area uh, five and continue going through that area. But first, let's continue this. You're not alone. Keep your eye open and your mouth closed. You know, and it ain't just flying everywhere. Aha! A key! Two ways. That way's not. Like you're going down or up. Oh, now we have a nice view in the goal. Yes, another key. Power rate cat, that's all. Ah, uh, no he. There we go. Yep, there's a... Oh, he. Key, key, and more key. Alright, let's uh, head up this way. Head on this way, this way's locked. So. Uh. Uh. Well, keep your floor as inconvenient as it is cool. Another key, I'm shot. Your start has him is known in three. That's part of it. Oh, sorry, I'm just a little keen up. There we go. Door, 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 and more doors. All right, well, there we go. We beat the last level in area one that we missed. I gotta really pay attention more. <laughs> It really doesn't tell you if you beat every kettle. Wait, where are any? Wait. Okay, it shows some green here, here. Nothing there, but it does show some green area there. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna just cut and see if I can find out what those are. No horror, hold on. Alright, we're back at the e oh four tree hill, and I found out what all that green, what the, uh, 
green part on the map mean? That means there's a collectible somewhere. So if we throw small fry, it means that there's either something visible or underneath. So let's see. Time to scroll. Oh, well, this is number 20. Thursday night, last Friday morning at 1 a.m., it's the one over next of Marie after midnight. And a special guest stopped by to help me celebrate. My cousin Callie, it's a squid sister gab fest. We cannot stop talking. Not kidding, we went over to schedule end time by five hours. Oops. Alright, well, now that we did that, let's move on. Low vid, high risk, cut from the fog and find the bowl. Not, our hero here is not available for this one. Looks like we're gonna hit a roller first. Oh god! The dynamo roller. Heavy hit, heavy weight. But heavy flat, but a lot of flat power. It turned around, now you can. It's both inviting and omin ominous. Thing. And ominous. Have been a million octopuses. Ugh, what a combo. I mean, this isn't hard, it's just, you can't see a damn thing. Oh, that didn't do anything. Let's climb up this. If I wanted to. What a climb, I feel tired here. Talking to you about it. Oh, I met. There we go. Here's the same with the dynamo roller. I'll hit it over in there. Oh, that's nothing. A path this way. There we go. The triple inch strike.
You really like the high ground, huh? Nice. Well, that was weird. Not bad, AG3. Not bad. I think I have one in a circle. Alright, next no, up, no, the Splat Morella. And our weapon is small fry. You really like the high ground, huh? Alright, final weapon and point nine tenth down. Which actually should be the e will be the easiest because of yeah, the long range. Oh point five two now. So yeah, a little faster, not as strong but still much better range than the nut. There we go. Uh, 
Time. Time. Powering. Ain't it? Low mid, high risk. Whew. Main it through. Alright, next time we'll continue on and explore more of this area and possibly clean out all the fuzz. So tune in more on the Splatoon 3 single player campaign. My name's Mike Lay. I hope you have a very good day. Yeah, what are you looking at?